Welcome back to the channel. My name's Blake and we're going to be doing a Fusion 360 tutorial on how to make a stool with maker pipe. Check the links in the description because they're probably going to have each topic separated so you can skip to whatever you need. All right guys, so here's the stool that we're going to make. This is just the pre-done model. So it's pretty simple. We're just using four 90 degree connectors and then holding up a block of wood. So in order to get started on this, we want to do a basic model of the plank of wood that we're gonna be using. So I already found the one that's on Home Depot and we're just gonna model that from the top. So in order to do that, we gotta click the create sketch button and then we're gonna model it from the top down to start so then we choose a plane to select and now we need to make a rectangle that looks like the top of the board so in order to do that we're going to click R to create a rectangle or you can select this 2d this two-point rectangle tool and then we're going to make sure that we're making a center rectangle that we're starting on the origin point so in order to do that just hold over this until it snaps drag it out a little bit and do it until it looks about right. So from here, we're gonna need to dimension it because it's all blue so we can still maneuver it around a lot. So in order to dimension it, we're going to click D to dimension or the dimension tool is up in the top left. Click on the side we want to dimension, click off of it and now we can modify this. So we're gonna put 12 inches in. It'll scale itself up. And now we do the same thing over here except this we want it to be two feet. So we can either do the mental math to make it 24 inches, or if we just type two feet, FT, it'll do all the math for us. And we can do the same for millimeters or anything like that. It's really handy. So now we need to finish the sketch, back out, and now we have a 2D rectangle that we need to give some thickness. So in order to do that, we're gonna use the extrude tool, which is up in the top left, or press E. It'll select our rectangle because that's the only profile in the whole file. And then we want that to be three quarter inches thick. So in order to do that, just type three divided by four and it'll do the math for us to put 0.75 inches. So now we have our plank of wood modeled in and we want to do, we want to change it to give it a wood grain to it so that we can keep track of everything in our heads. So we're going to click A or modify appearance and I'm going to scroll down to wood and fusion kind of be funky with that mouse over the oak grab it and drop it onto our block of wood so now we have a nice wood grain to it and we know that's a piece of wood in our file so now we need to import the connector into our file and put it on the bottom of our block of wood and build off of our maker pipe. So in order to do that, we're going to create a sketch on the bottom to define where our piece of maker pipe will end up being. And to do that, we click create sketch, click the bottom surface, and now we need to make a circle that represents the cross section of our conduit. So we're going to click C to create a circle and click about where we want it to be, the center point, and then drag out to about where it should be. And then we know that the outer diameter of conduit is 0.922 inches. So we're gonna click off here with our dimension tool. We're gonna select the outside diameter of the, the outside circumference of the circle, then press 0.922. That'll give us the size. And now we wanna dimension it off from the edges of our piece of wood. So to do that, we're going to just like put it in the general area of where we want and then click D to dimension, select the center point and a side. And we're just gonna use 1.5 inches for now. Press that and then do the same this way. So center, edge, 1.5. Now this is where the circle turned black, so we know that it's fully defined where it's supposed to be. We're not gonna be able to change it unless we change one of these three numbers. And now I'm gonna do the cross section of the conduit in this sketch also to make it a little easier down the road. So we're gonna 
we know the thickness that the conduit wall needs to be, but not the inner diameter. So since we don't know the inner diameter, we're going to just put in the offset of the thing of the circles. So in order to do that, you use the offset tool up here in the top left, or you can click O, and that's gonna pull up this menu. So we're gonna select our circle, and then we can drag out, and the red will represent where it's gonna end up being. We're gonna go a little bit on the inside of the circle, and then we know that the nominal thickness of three-quarter conduit is 0 0.047. So we're using negative so that it's on the inside profile of the circle, and then we're gonna click OK. And that's gonna give us, uh, that's gonna give us a nice profile to use later. So now we're gonna exit that sketch, and now we get to import our piece of maker pipe. So in order to do that, we're gonna go to our file that was in the other episode of how to import all of our maker pipe models. And we're going to just copy this body. So we're gonna just select it and control C or right click it and copy. And then when we come in here, we want to create a base feature. So our base feature won't be kept up in our history tree down here but it will just be one notch in our history tree, but all of our movements and nothing's gonna be captured. So to do that, we're gonna do create, create base feature. And now once we're here, now we can paste a body from another file. And now we need to just rotate it into the correct orientation, and then we're gonna snap it to that center point of our circle over here. So to do that, once it comes in, we're gonna get our move copy dialog and through these twisting bits, we can just rotate it until it snaps to 90 degrees. And then we're gonna do the same this way. And then I'm just gonna move it up so it's a little easier to see what's going on. So from here, now it's in the right orientation for this corner. And we're gonna do our point to point is how we're gonna actually snap it to the right location. So we wanna move the center of this ring to this point down here in the middle. So to do that, we're on the point to point, and we'd move our origin point to our target point. So to select our origin point, we want the center of this, which to do that, we mouse over this outer ring, this outer edge, and then hold control, and then mouse over the center until our center point kind of highlights blue. Once that happens, you can click, and then zoom out and now we're being prompted for our target point and our target point is this point down here so we're going to click that and now our piece of makeup pipe's in the right spot to keep going so we're going to click ok and exit our base feature so now from here we need to make one of our legs which we already have the cross section sketched up here so now we just have to extrude that down to the height of our stool so in order to do that we want to Click E to extrude, or our tools up in the top left, and select this inner profile, which is the profile of our conduit. And then we want it to be about nine inches tall, which is what this one is. So what we're gonna do is E, select this, then drag this down a little bit, and then press nine. Now if you wanted this to be, this whole thing to be total nine inches tall, we know the thickness of our plank of wood, so we could do nine minus 0.75, and that's gonna give us the total height. But what we're just gonna do, we're just gonna do nine inches for our legs, that'll make cutting the conduit a little easier. So we're just gonna do nine. And if you notice, it's getting the same texture as this wooden plank up here, but that's because it's trying to join the two pieces together. We don't want that. We just want to make a new body. So we're going to come into our operation, change that to new body, check it, make sure it looks good, and then click OK. So now we have a leg and a piece of maker pipe. And what we're going to do from here, we're going to pull our two shafts off of here and pull those to the middle of the, their respective planes. And then we're just going to take everything and mirror it across our whole part to get our final legs and maker pipe pieces. So we want to make this shaft coming out here. To do that, we're going to create a sketch on this plane of the maker pipe. 
and all of our models have flat surfaces on the inside so you can do this really easily because this is the spot where it indexes in the maker pipe in real life and having a flat surface makes it really really easy to CAD. So we're going to click on that and create sketch and then when you create a sketch on a profile like this it automatically projects all of your features. So we're going to click C to create a circle and then make sure that it lines up on the center point of this whole ring. Click here, drag it out a little 0.922 inches for the diameter of our conduit and then click on the outside, click O to offset and then we're going to drag that down a little bit until it's in the middle and then we're going to do negative 0.047. And you can also do this flip direction tool at the right and that'll automatically add the negative. So if you type it in a little wrong, you can just click this until it's on the right side. Then we'll click OK and finish sketch. And now we need to extrude this ring to the middle of our plank of wood. So to do that, we're gonna click E to extrude and then select all of our profiles. And this is where it can get a little tricky to select the right thing, so just make sure you're being careful not to select too much or too little. And then what we want to do is get it into the middle of our plank of wood. So this can be tricky to do by hand, and we don't want to do the math to get it right because we don't want it to overlap too much or have a little gap between the two pieces once we mirror it. So we're just going to pull it out a little, but then we're going to use this extend to function. So instead of extend to distance, we're going to extend to object. And this allows us to extend it to any plane or point or edge or curved edge or anything like that. So we're going to select this midpoint plane. And that will make sure it always goes up to that midpoint plane, no matter if we change anything later. So here we notice that it's trying to join to our piece of maker pipe here. So we want to change this back to new body and then click OK. So now that's at the exact middle. So now we just have to make this beam coming off here. So it'll be the same process. We're going to create a new sketch on this surface. C to create a circle, 0.922. O to offset, select our circle, negative 0.047. Enter to confirm that. Exit the sketch. E to extrude, select all of the profiles. Make sure you have all of them. And then we're going to extend it to our plane object. And then Fusion is trying to trick us again by joining it. So we're going to prevent that new body. Click OK. And now we have a corner of our total maker pipe structure underneath this stool. So using this, we're going to just mirror this across twice. And then we'll have our final part. So to do this, we're going to mirror via the create oh, create mirror tool. And then it's make sure that you're on pattern type body. Sometimes it'll try and do faces, do bodies, and then just select all of the bodies that we want to mirror. We don't want to mirror this top bit. And then it'll ask for the mirror plane. So then we select, and then we want this to be our mirror plane. It'll give us a little diagram of a little preview of what it's going to make. That looks good, so we're going to click OK. And now we have the first two legs of our final part, but there's a seam in the middle and these two pieces are separated. So what we want to do is combine those into one before we mirror it again. To do that, we're going to click the Combine tool at the top, and then it'll ask for a target and tool body. So we're selecting randomly one of these and then the other to join together. And now when we click OK, that's all one part and it'll be easier to mirror. So now we're just going to mirror everything across the other plane. So again, create, mirror, make sure you're on bodies, select all of your parts. And then when you select the mirror plane, so this is our mirror plane, check the preview, preview looks good, click OK. And now we have these two little pieces are broken up again, so we're going to combine those. And you have to combine them individually, so this side first, and then do another combine to this side. 
And now that's it. That's our whole structure built and put together. So now what we want to do is we want to just change our way of looking at it so that we can make sure it looks good and should look good at the end. So what we want to do is click our top right arrow and that's going to allow us to change from orthographic to perspective view. Perspective view is much more lifelike in terms of how it's rendering. So it'll give us a better view of, okay, how is this going to look in real life instead of that weird distorted orthographic view. So now we can just check on it and make sure it looks okay. And it does. So now we're going to switch ourselves back to orthographic views. And from here, now we, this is our final part. And now we want to build it in real life. So to do that, we can just take our dimensions straight from here and cut our conduit and then assemble it. That's the ideal way of doing it. But we don't know exactly how long these pieces of conduit are, so except our legs, because we specifically made those nine inches long. So to find the length of the others, we need to use our inspect tool and then get the lengths of those. So we're gonna hide everything that we don't need. So we're gonna hide this top bit, and then we're gonna select this so that we can see which one of these in the tree it is, and then hide that, hide that, and hide that. So now we have both ends of this conduit and this conduit. So now we can click this button up here or click I. And now we need to select both surfaces of this. So we're gonna select this surface and this surface. And that'll give us the width of this one. So 6.43 inches long. So now if we cut two pieces of conduit to that length, we'll be good on that front. And then we're gonna exit out of that. I select this surface and this surface. And that's 18.43 inches long. So now we know that we need to cut two pieces of conduit to that length. And then just for good measure, in case something got messed up or got cut weird along the way, then we should measure these legs also nine inches so it turned out exactly how we wanted to and then we can cut all the legs and then it just turns into an assembly project instead of a measure and you mess something up and you forget something in your head and just make the whole thing wrong so now we can just kind of add everything back that looks good and now we're done now you can make it in real life so that's going to conclude this tutorial we're going to be making more tutorials in the future including a bigger table and maybe a shelf unit. So if you want to keep up with that, subscribe and be on the lookout. Also, if you have any questions about next videos or any concepts you want to see demonstrated in a tutorial, make sure to post that on our community page on Make a Pipe Community, and we'll get right back to that. All right, thanks, guys.